Welcome to our lesson on finding the surface area of a cone. So the formula for the curved surface area of a cone is pi multiplied by r multiplied by l, where l is the slanted length, in this case 5, and r is the base radius, which is 4 centimeters. So the curved surface area of a green cone is pi multiplied by the radius for multiplied by the slanted length 5. 4 times 5 is 20, so the curved surface area is 20 pi. And this is in centimetres squared. But with this cone, we also have to consider the base. And the base is a circle of radius 4 centimetres. And to work out the area of a circle, we use pi r squared. Again, the radius is 4, so we have 4 squared, which is 16 pi. So the total surface area is the sum of the curved and the base, which is 36 pi centimetres squared. We can approximate this as a decimal as 113 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Okay, let's work out the surface area of the next cone. So again, we're going to use the formula, the curved surface area is equal to pi r l. But in this case you can see the slanted length is not given. However, we do have a perpendicular length, which is this length and that is 8 centimeters. We also know the base radius is 4, so now we have a right angle triangle where this side is 8 and this side is 4. And we can use Pythagoras' theorem, which is the square root of 8 squared plus 4 squared to work out the hypotenuse which is approximately 8.9 centimeters. So this is 8.9 and this is L. We can put these values into our formula. We have pi multiplied by the radius which is 4 multiplied by the slanted length which is 8.9. So the curved surface area is approximately 112 centimeters squared to three significant figures. But again, we need to add the base area, and the base is a circle of radius four, and this is pi r squared. The radius is four, so we have 16 pi. So we have the total surface area, which is 112 plus the 16 pi. So the total surface area is 163 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So if you imagine a cone which has been unraveled to make a net, the curved surface area will form a sector. And the area of a sector is the area of a curved surface area. And we know from our lesson on sectors, the angle here theta divided by 360 is a fraction of the entire circle which is pi r squared. So the area of this sector is theta, which in this case is 60, divided by 360, multiplied by pi, times radius, which is 9 squared. And this fraction will simplify to make 1 6. 9 squared is 81, so it is 1 6 of 81 pi which we can simplify to make 27 pi over 2 centimeters squared. At the decimal, we can approximate this as 42.4 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Do you want to try and work out the curved surface area of a cone from this blue sector? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, the area of a sector is theta over 360 pi r squared. And this fraction of the entire circle, this is the area. We know the angle, we know this angle is 60 degrees, so the angle of the sector will be 300. So we have 300 over 360 multiplied by pi times the radius, which is 12 squared, which is 144. 
We can simplify 300 over 360 to make 56 of pi times 144. And this simplifies to make 120 pi centimeters squared, which we can approximate as a decimal as 377 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.